Another stem. Here you go. Well, we survived our first storm together. Yes, we did. I'm glad we got to see each other again. How long are you staying on Jeddah? I don't know. But I am excited to see Grease. How is he these days? Not bad. He opened up a cantina. Hyloon Saloon. He named it after his great grandma. Nothing's more important to Grease than family. Seers told me everything. You have demonstrated great bravery and wisdom in the face of overwhelming adversity. You chose well? Well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the Empire has claimed the ruins. We'll have to find another rendezvous point. Unfortunate. But at least the storm covered your tracks. Come. Come, let me escort you inside. Master Cordova, did you find the Zepho? Only faint traces of their passage, heading deep into the unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice. We mustn't keep Seo waiting. How have you been faring, Cal? That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I'm glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant not long ago. You were on Coruscant? Uh... Well, the Mantis looks like it's seen better days. We should see the other guys. dreaming? Sorry, coming. This base is well hidden. Yes. Well, the Empire's presence has grown these past years. They are much too strong to fight directly, but we do what we can. 
Coming, Cal. It is critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So, how was the desert? Cold, stormy, and too many Imperials. Mm, not my preferred weather forecast. But more common by the day. Where did you weather the storm? A cave past the old market. Our Spamel friend showed us the way. You've a habit for making new friends wherever you go. A survival instinct, perhaps. I intercepted some Imperial communications. Your reputation is growing. Was there fear in their voices? Quite a bit, yes. Good. How are you feeling? Better. That tea you brought me was wonderful. Can't go this way. Just keep trying. It's not like Brother Armai has to break contact. Cal Kestis. Welcome to Jeddah. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. We're rebuilding the temple archives. Yeah, we're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like. like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes. And force sensitives, and those who help them. What didn't you tell me? <laughs> you never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire is an invulnerable. That you can resist. That you have to fight if things are gonna get better. But then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Yeah. You chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network, find allies, and save lives. When you left, now you've just given up. Was wrong.
Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just weapons. But we both have our roles to play in this struggle. Yeah, but that's why I'm here. See her. Well, you get a load of this! Hey, see her. You can't say it ain't short of personality, <laughs> but kind of creepy, though. <laughs> well, it's good to see you two agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. hello, Vivi. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He is a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, this hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey, we're all together! <laughs> yes. Now, what brings you all to Jetta? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordova's up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. The guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Well, oh, boy. This guy knows his audience. I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kobo. And records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you. I will escort you back to the Mantis. So you're not joining us? I cannot. So where are we headed first? Back to Kobo? Or its moon? I need a second. Ah, Cal. I was hoping we could speak about something. There is a site, quite an ancient one at that, in the northern desert. I visited it during my early days on Jetta, before the Empire's presence grew. What kind of site? One built by those who revered Force users. We know little about them, but I found the experience quite fascinating. Perhaps you will too. I'll check it out. Jal, my friend, have you made the acquaintance of Sister Task? Don't think I have. You ought to introduce yourself. She's our chief archivist, and though I doubt she'd admit it, she seems eager to meet you. I'll stop by. Very good. Uh, just remember to mind your manners. She's Narcus through and through. Have you explored any of the ruins on Jeddah? I have. Quite fascinating though my research was cut short due to the growing Imperial presence. Now it's too risky to venture outside, and we send communications only when absolutely necessary. Mm. <laughs> that is why I could not tell you that I returned, my friend. My sincerest apologies. We're just glad you're okay. Please, let me know how your field research expedition goes, my friend. 
Cordova said he found you while he was seeking other Jedi survivors. Yes. Hard to believe that fate brought us together once again after all this time. Could have used that luck when we were hunting for the Holocron. I know. Luck or fate. I'm just happy my master is alive and here with us. Yeah. I'm determined as ever to tend to the Jedi legacy and resist the Empire. Have a look around the Archive, Cal. We'll talk later. The Archive is growing, but there is still much work to do. I'll leave you to it. Glad you didn't have to fly through that storm. So, how's it feel to be piloting the Mantis again? Like being home. Then why the long face? Ah, it's been too long. My pilot instincts are all off. I know how hard it is trying to relearn skills you put to the side. I guess so, huh? Still, I regret ever walking away from the Mantis. Keep thinking I'm gonna slip up. You walked away when you needed to. I know you'll pick it back up in no time. Okay, okay. You're a good friend, Cal. This new arm is gonna make piloting a little different. But I'll get there. I hope. Oh, hey, Seer or Master Cordova's got the answers, not me. Talk to one of them. I suppose you have both studied Oisin's Lemma? Yes, sister. Indeed, sister. Then perhaps you will explain to me the paradox of the fifth book. Oisin explores the antinomy of enlightenment. It's a paradox about the inevitability of cycles. Hmm. Explain. Enlightenment is defined as cycle-breaking. But, per the canons, to be enlightened is to suffer the cycle. The more we strive to break the cycle, the more we embody it. But in accepting it, we become enlightened, thereby breaking the cycle. Indeed. And what do you make of this? I think the meaning is clear. You can't reason your way to true enlightenment. Ah. The lemma has confounded scholars for centuries, but to you its meaning is clear. I... well... Recall the canons. There is no truth but the truth of all things. There is no knowledge but the force of all others. Brother, perhaps you should revisit the fifth book. And while you're there, revisit the preceding books as well. Yes, sister. Let's hang on to this. This terminal will have to wait. Master Cordova requested a translation of a later form of the allocution. Which form? The Plainsong Brother. Curious. Very well. Furnish him with the latest reduction. It... It isn't my place, Brother, but I must request clarification. 
Why are we granting such a request? The ancients forbid sharing our rituals with outsiders. The ancients were not driven underground by armored invaders. Times have changed. Besides, he is here on Master Junta's auspices. Not an Arcus, I'll grant you, but hardly an outsider. Do as you are instructed. Yes, brother. here for a long time. thought you'd settle down and run a saloon. <laughs> That's quite a change of pace. And a lot of responsibility. Ah, you know, I age like a fine Alderanian wine. <laughs> I know it's been a minute since you've seen me in action, but old greasy money only gets better with age. True. You running any sabak tables? No, no, I am done with gambling. Done with it. Forever. Well, I'm proud of you, Grease. Ah, can it before you make me blush? Focus. All set. Sister, were you persuaded by the fifth corollary? Persuaded? Perhaps not, though I was moved. The poetry was inspired. Tragically, it failed, fatally, to present a consistent ontology. Hmm. I may need to revisit it. It's so good to see you, Meryn. What brings you to Jeddah? I came across a group during my travels. Their goal is to hide Force Sensitives from the Empire. Have you ever heard of the Hidden Path? Brother, I meant to mention, we recovered two dozen manuscripts yesterday. Impressive. All from the North Way House. Indeed. The Imperials nearly spotted our finders, but they know the cliffs. Good. Forgive me, but is that unconcern I detect? I would think any brush with the Empire would merit interest. Unconcern? Hardly, sister. I'm simply hesitant to attribute our stealth entirely to our own skill. Have you seen the visors they wear? Ah, uh, indeed. Peripheral vision is a heavy price to pay for sun protection. <laughs> yes, quite. Jedi Knight. I am called Sister Task. I'm Cal. Word of your arrival has spread quickly, Noble One. Master Junda holds you in high esteem. Seer and I have been through a lot together. Jeddah is brimming with lost artifacts related to your order, among other traditions. Should you happen upon any scrolls or other objects of interest, I would gladly exchange some of the treasures I've unearthed for them. I'll let you know if I find anything. We are in your debt, Noble One. I meant to ask. You are curious to learn more about the masked hermits helping your mentor, hmm? I am. 
We are the Narcus Anchorites. We study and venerate the Force as it manifests through knowledge. You're scholars? We gather knowledge, much like other scholars, yes. But our labor is driven by the belief that knowledge expresses universal truth. Through wisdom, we seek to perceive the formless pattern of the Force. Do you understand? I understand describing the Force as a formless pattern, although that isn't my perception of it. Indeed. Nor do we experience the Force as you do, Noble One. Why do Anchorites wear masks? Why does a Jedi carry a lightsaber? It's useful. It's a tool. Yes. Why else? It's a symbol. Very good. Our masks protect us from the sands, from raw winds. But so do they symbolize our vows of anonymity. That's some vow. Some vow indeed. Treasure for wisdom, young sage. That would naturally attract you. Stay curious, always. You're the Traveler. Have you found any systems outside the Empire's reach? Not that I have come across. There are countless ruins scattered across the High Desert. One of them could be a perfect safe house for the path. You seem agitated, sister. A new acquisition, perhaps. The way is sealed, Outlander. I'm sorry, Jedi. The gate must remain closed. Imperial patrols have been spotted in the region. I understand. The patrols should pass soon. When they do, you will be free to come and go as you please.
Old Aerotech speeder bikes. Never got to ride one. Go do what you gotta do. How did you and the Anchorites end up building this archive? Well, we began our work in the holy city of Nijeda, preserving whatever we could find of the Jedi tradition. Sounds like a dangerous place to collect outlawed teachings. Too dangerous. After one too many close calls with the Empire, I convinced the Narcus to relocate here. We found this abandoned monastery. and set about building everything you see. I can't believe he did all this in only a couple of years. Well, it's been hard work, but once I understood my calling, I had to answer it. That you did. It hurt when he left. Felt like you quit on us in the middle of a fight. I know. But you were trying to restore the order, rebuild what was lost. The fight was never your goal. Are you so sure it's yours? We'll talk later. So I understand you've been trying to fight the Empire on your own. I had some help from a few friends. And where are they now? Gone. Hmm. <laughs> I see. Well, you're nothing if not brave, Cal. And from what Seer tells me, willing to put your life on the line for those you love. Just remember, the Empire will twist our actions, however noble, to serve their aims. I remember that, Master Cordova. Hey, Cal, hold up. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one if you think you might want. No need. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're you're good. Okay. My master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, both. Now, I'll show you how. 
got to use it. A real stormtrooper won't stay still. Got to start somewhere. There you go. Not bad. Seer. I do not work for Seer. Right. It's my mistake. So where are we headed first? Back to Kobo? Or it's Moon? I think we should check out the High Republic settlement first. Yeah, let's scope it out. Dagenger was bound to leave something behind. This is a smart operation Sears put together. Why do you say that? All this rock? Natural shielding against sensors. Yeah, and if anyone makes it past all that, the Anchorites have plenty of hollow books to throw at them. <laughs> yeah, you can see how Sears managed to evade the Empire for so long. She makes her own luck. Keeping so much of her power held back to achieve a larger goal. Yeah. There's definitely more to where the meets the eye. You two have that in common. Ready to roll out when you are. It's nice seeing you again, Marin. You too, Cal. Good luck. Perhaps I will still be here when you return. Hope so. I can't believe Master Cordova is really here. All that time following in his footsteps. I have enjoyed getting to know him. I've never met a Jedi with a better sense of humor. You've only met me and Seer. That's right. Keep your eyes out for the Empire. Guess the platform isn't here. Great time to change up our equipment. All right, then.
That should do it. This one's ready to go. All set. Ergonomic and effective.